of investing in bonds. Many of you who are our clients know the speaker, Mr. Bhuvan Gupta, well. To those who are joining us for the first time, Mr. Bhuvan is the founder of Client First Capital and Client First Management Consultancy. Client First Capital is a financial advisory firm regulated by Financial Service Commission in the Mauritius. Before starting the Client First Group, Mr. Bowen was a wealth manager with Rack Bank. We also have Client First Wealth Management India, which is managed by his brother, Kunjan Gupta. Till date, Mr. Bowen has advised for $41 million of investments, $400 million of life insurance, and $300 million worth of critical illness cover. He's also a member of the MDRT. Mr. Bowen is currently managing $12 million in the founder's portfolio. Mr. Bowen's mentors are Warren Buffet, Peter Lynch, and Ramdeo Agarwal, and his investment philosophy is based on the guidelines, uh, guiding principles of these stalwarts in the investment industry. Uh, Bowen, uh, you can continue from here on. Over to you. Thank you, Priya. Thanks a lot, Priya, for the nice introduction. Uh, I think introduction just helps uh, people to hear who you are, who I am. But we very thank you too. Thanks to all the clients who have been this date patiently listening to whatever we have to say. In the end, I can say that money has been made for them. That's more important. And these awards which are there, and some of them on the back of me, they are just mm -hmm. uh, uh, showcasing uh, the little work we have done. I think the miles to go, uh, we have just started. So by the way, uh, these webinars are my uh, mission uh, in, in endeavor to help all of us to be a better investor. Uh, this is absolutely educational and it is free. So I will always tell you that I am available for free, but are you available and able to take the decision? That's most important. So today's webinar, I will tell you what I'm going to tell you. So if you have missed our previous webinar, please uh, get their link on the YouTube. Uh, I will continue like this every month up to the 100th webinar. Uh, I've been a banker. I will call myself as a broker because the banker wants to make money every month to make sure that the revenues are give, is sent to their uh, promoters or their, their owners or the uh, shareholders. And they also make sure that customers get a product which is approved by the bank. But what happened, there are some, somewhere this advisory and partnership got lost. And that's what I'm thinking I'm trying to do once I got to understand that there is a perfect way of retiring rich and which is being into right investments. And I'm not saying that is equity all the time because I totally understand that some of you do not have the, uh, what you call, uh, don't want to in fact put 90, 80% into the equity. By far my 70 to 80% wealth is into equities. And today is not the time I'm going to talk about equities, but I'm going to discuss more about why I will never invest in structure notes and how should one should invest in bonds if at all they have to invest in bonds. Now, a little bit of background. I started this company in 2015. Uh, we were just having a small focus that if we can make money more than the expenses, we are happy. Uh, my, I have a good friend who took me to Julius Bear and we become an introducer with them. And we started onboarding our client to Julius Bear. And because the cost was low, they were ready to tie up with us. And that's how we onboarded some 10, 11 clients in Julius Bear. And what exactly happened is that this game of structure notes being taught to us, which was giving us 1% or 2% on the, on the fee side. And clients were also able to get, let's say, 7 or 8%. And with leverage, it was giving roughly 12 to 13%. And that is what has been shown to us. And that's how we got into it. But the good thing is I always believe that what you make people to eat, you if you eat yourself, you the, enjoy the pleasure and the pain together and there is no, no way there's a conflict of interest. So I also became an investor in the equity. I also became an investor in the bond. I also became an investor in the structure notes with my clients. So whatever little money we earned from them, we put into the business itself. The investing, I, I mean to say. So I myself become a private banking customer of Julius Bear and I myself have invested. So I'm going to tell you my investing journey and how I lost money in the section nodes and made money in the equity. But how I lose in the section node, that's more important today because today the whole world is glued to the structure nodes. And I meet people in my office 
they come and they ask me why are you saying this such a not so not good it is a good product somebody shared with me a term sheet uh, one week or two week back was showing me 24% kind of a conditional guaranteed investment so i will say the structure note is a category which is by by far people have not understood or not have misunderstood actually so before that let's do some hygiene activity these are our offices six year journey started from home then uh, came and took a small office today we have a 30 member strong team we by and large do only fund management and education and if clients have a different requirement of let's say they want to have fixed income then we get them the product which are good okay. for them okay. they could not sana fare sana ko le i think i need to off stop okay now uh, the mission vision and commitment we want to be a global startup we want to reduce the wealth gap and this webinars are in that series we also have a mission to create high net worth investors see there are plenty of people chasing the high net worth investors who have a million dollar surplus but there are very few people who are helping these people who have got 100000 dollar 200000 dollar to make them a million dollar worth so i think this is the gap which we are bridging and we are both kind of investors who are filthy really rich they might uh, not need these things uh, up front because they don't have time but they really need to be taken care of because even if one investing decision goes wrong you will stop investing and that's we understand the second category is basically which are not high net worth individual like 100 200 300000 dollar kind of investors these people are being sold wrappers like insurance or saving products in the name of investments where they also want to make 10% and that's why a lot of education is required this is what we are trying to do we also invest a lot in our employees so that they also understand and become an entrepreneur and slowly and gradually we'll have a team of entrepreneur only in the office so that we all understand how to create value in my investing gurus who themselves have taken leverages those days and have suffered badly benjamin graham who is the guru of warren buffet a professor of uh, equity he has basically uh, written two books called security analysis and the intelligent investors when we were not even born whether you or me these people were doing equity investments they were taking leverage and then they got their lesson in the crash of 1945 that's what i want to tell you then there is a oracle of omaha the student of ben graham who is warren buffet who needs no introductions a lot of people yesterday somebody was telling me is his studies really relevant let me tell you i am a very firm practitioner of what he does in the contemporary fund manager was uh, peter lynch who gave 30% return for 13 years odd in the fidelity i feel that their teachings are absolutely relevant in today's atmosphere also you might have this growth companies making you lot of money and because of that people might think that oh i want to make quick money so i think if you want to make quick money just think about it you are businessman you are a let's say a senior management employee today have you made anything quick and if you have made anything quick like 2008 property uh, um, boom if you have made lot of money you would have definitely taken a wrong decision buying buying a property at a overvalued zone and people have bought that and till today i know many people not one many people i know 10 years has passed or more than 10 years have passed the property price has not appreciated so what i'm trying to tell you here is that please understand that there is nothing called quick money and if you want to make quick money by using tips i can tell you that this is not going to work so this is what warren buffet is warren buffet being followed by ramdev agrawal charlie munger does not need any introduction charlie munger taught me something very good that when you take a decision don't think how far it can go that should not be the criteria to take the decision you can actually think this way that if i take this decision what are the probability of not going wrong so recently i bought a company in my portfolio and this has been the philosophy i have been following in 2020 also we gave 32% net return to the client we never promised them we still want to tell you today that we are not going to make you more than five uh, two times in in five years anything above 14% is a coincidence and that's what it is so charlie munger has very brilliantly said that take a decision thinking what 
might go wrong so if you think about about that i think you are good in today's atmosphere then comes this ramjo krawal who is we we belong to say i think why i always say that we belong to same city because it really strike struck me that this guy is a billionaire out of my uh, hometown and i have no clue about him because i have a, i have a habit of picking the great people and being associated with them and thinking about them listening to them again and again so that i can start thinking the the way they think to be yeah. very i'm not a smart man i'm a simple who are all this khawi do i think i can only tell you one thing that this people have been successful so i a lot of people ask me this question before i get into the subject today subject that aap paisa le lo bhuvan ji take the money and then you invest the right time and i always tell them that ramdev ji has a very simple philosophy he invests when he has the money and he says exit the money when you need the money every time people have asked me ask him this questions in the annual conference and he has always told that for so example amazon if you would have bought at 99 dollar in 1999 or you would have bought at 10 dollar today it is 2000 dollar in both the scenario you made money so you can be very choosy and pick and choosy if you say boss already 90% is invested in the stock market but where our asset allocation is only tilted 10% of 12% of 15% 20% to the stock market then i think a simple philosophy to follow is to invest for 10 years and invest when you have the money and withdraw the money which you need instead of withdrawing let's say a lot of money or booking the profit just take the money which you need so i am using my own investment as a retirement strategy whenever i'll need some money i'll take it out of it but i'll make the pool so bigger that i even if i take out 2% 3% it is not going to Uh, affect my compound now let's come to today's topic of structure notes so i'm going to show you i'm going to tell you the category of structure notes come into and i can bet you if you are investing in structure notes you have no idea what you are doing you have been told and you have been sold on a guarantee or the way it is the condition okay. guarantee product you should get 7 to 8% if you will leverage because interest rates are very low so you should be getting 12 or 13% all that story has been given to us we also went ahead and told the god's grace we uh, were following the uh, right people we cut down the leverage first and then we 95% of our transaction notes we cut down the right time but then we realized that once in a 10 year we will have this kind of losses and you will lose your clients and i have lost my clients so i'm telling you from my experience because they just trust you blindly so it is better to educate them make them understand the product and let's work towards whether you make them 5 or 6% let's not lose the money so now coming to structure notes what is this hazard first of all it's called derivative now derivatives are basically instruments who who are derived on a underlying asset for example if you would have heard about 2008 crisis it came through a derivative called cdos collateralized debt obligation or collateralized mortgage obligation those hazards like right now there is something called spac is special purpose investment vehicle something like that there are no earnings basically and they are demerging uh, with a company which is listed and they are trying to come at a uh, to stock market so there is actually uh, they are parking the money for the future investment there is so much liquidity created by all the central banks in the world that these instruments uh, this people are giving money to even junk also they are kind of a junk because not every spec is a good investment to make so now coming to futures i think futures a lot of us know futures and forwards are the contract where you promise to buy or sell something in the future this has been brought for farmers this has been brought for traders so that they can hedge their losses so let's say uh, mm-hmm. many of you are in textile business and let's say you have a, you have to order clothes and yarn price is is going to move up so you can now only Uh, book the yarn, but you will only pay a margin because you do not have a need for yarn right now. You have a need after, let's say, one year or two year or six months. Similarly, the natural gas is a very shaky kind of a commodity because it it has a lot of local demand supply issue. So what people do, they also hedge the all the refiners. They they try to hedge the natural gas. So that is like a future and forward contract. Then come to swaps where you can use to short the market. so i will talk about swap and i'll show you how you can deal how you can use it 
then fourth is option now option is a very good instrument if you understand it and you want to bet small until option everything is fine but why i will now not never buy option peter lynch says a very good thing that i he has never bought option by the way he said you are running against the time so there are two types of option call option put option now please don't fall to sleep because i understand this is a, a difficult topic but you have been doing it. so please raise your hand if you are buying a structure notes then you should not fall asleep but you should be interactive with me or interacting with me because of this is an option for you to buy paying 5 dollar you are booking let's say a pen or a commodity or a lot of 500 dollar that's the option so in the call option when you buy the call option you are paying the premium to the writer of the option and if the price goes up if the price goes up you make unlimited money but if price goes down all you lose is the option premium till here everything is fine now the second is put option put option means that let's say now you are bearish on the commodity or the underlying and now you want to basically pay a margin or pay a premium and you have a bearish view so you make a lot of money you can't make unlimited money because price cannot fall below zero in the commodity it, it can technically oil went to negative price also but identify you will have lot of profits if the market goes down but if market goes up then you lose your option premium till here also i can understand that we are investing in this so what you, some people can do like michael burry if you heard his name you would have seen a movie called uh, i uh, i'm forgetting the name this movie is on the 2008 crisis and big uh, shot big shot thank you and call option and uh, uh, basically he has bought lot of call option now in the stock market because he might be predicting that tesla or the stocks which have gone up they they might come down so you can see a public news he has bought call options now let's understand what is writing the call option or shorting a call option basically this is what people do in the structure note when you are buying the structure notes and it is only one point of structure note because this is going to become very complex now you are telling you or your broker is telling you or a banker is telling you or i am telling you that sir you buy this you buy the structure notes and let's say if the stock goes down then you lose money but if a stock stays in the range then you make a premium of 5% to 10% or 5 dollar to 7 dollar on a 100000 dollar investment this stocks are very very good they are very strong and people are crazy behind them you might leverage and you can get a conditional guaranteed coupon and you can make 10 to 12% because structure notes are good is it also the interest rates are low now majority of the investors are the age of 45 to 60 they are not interested in a 10 year game all they want because somewhere their business are not doing good some they are not happy with the economy some people are not sure about their job they want to have some money falling in their account every quarter and that's how it has been sold and that's how it has been bought i will say not only the broker even investors are somewhere taught this game lot of people have come to my office and they've explained this to me and i think some of them have entered in the march 2020 and they have not faced this issue so they they are telling me why am i against it i'm not against it please understand that you could have done a better job by just tweaking your allocation and not buying structure notes but doing something else so we'll discuss that in a, in a bit so this is simple selling or a shorting of a call option or writing a call option this or or let's say writing a put option so structure note is a put option and we are not buying a put option we are actually selling a put option so this becomes a professional investment it is not suitable for retail investors now why do people sell the put option to us because we do not want to let me say this or let's say brokers do not have confidence to go and tell you that sir if you make money i'll charge you more or i am going to charge you one or two and, and by the way i'm not discussing uh, the exceptional people there are a lot of good people who tell you openly about it they go for a longer op options 
they basically give you a five year index link options we are discussing in the general masses because in march a lot of people lost either they lost uh, money like i lost money or let's say uh, i in fact we lost before march itself a lot of people lost in slumberger because the oil segment or the uh, the relative segment went down uh, one also i think people lost in san snider or some, something we lost in tata motors there are i'm sure one or two investment which have gone significantly down they give a very bad taste in the in the mouth that is what i'm talking about so now put option i explain to you we are selling the put option our losses are an unlimited and our upsides are capped now i will not go into detail right now but when you will ask me questions after i'll complete this then i'll answer this now warren buffett already said derivatives are financial weapon of mass destruction this this itself should click on our mind and we should stop even discussing it or about these kind of products but let's move forward and i I'll, i'll talk about more so just now i told you it's a wall street innovation uh, it's a great way to make money because you don't know how much a broker is making or a banker is making i can tell you 5 1% half a percent but we know that people want to make a lot of money and that's why they are coming to us and pushing a product to us so whenever somebody pushes your product 10 times and there is fees fees are not normal like a off plan property the only motivation i think people have to sell an off plan property to us is that they are so heavily incentivized that they are ready to sell you a property which is not even made so if you have bought an off plan property in india or in the middle east i have actually bought one in 2007 which never got uh, uh, what do you call completed and i lost heavily those days the regulations were not in place so what i'm trying to say please understand that people have been incentivized heavily for these kind of products so people sell you such a note as a high coupon bond it's a combination of a derivative which i just told you call or put options in my case it has always been a put option and then you have a set schedule interest payments which is like uh, the music to the ear of, of the investor there is a fund house which is a very successful fund house of india they have got four Uh, uh what do you call the classes of uh, investment and there is one class where they are giving you dividends let's say quarterly dividends and they are they when they sell it to you they tell you that 11% should come and people think that it's a bond and they fall for it and what happened when the market crashed uh, i think two two and a half years back when the the small cap of india india did not do well for the last 3 years they're struggling to even give a, a a dividend so what i'm trying to say selling is an art people have mastered it and even anybody can come and sell it to you you might think i am also selling you these things believe me the only thing today we want to do is that to make sure that you do not lose money so this is one thing i want to tell you about this structure notes and you have the sources from where we have taken our uh, um, uh, reference and my own experience just just now i told you so this is packaged to you as enhancing the yield of your overall portfolio it's a it could be a portfolio risk management tool it is promoted as a debt instrument that's very important structure note is promoted as a debt instrument and sometime brokers tell you that capital is kind of guaranteed and i'm not talking about anybody else i'm talking about myself people like us fell for it when we were less educated and it is alternative to simple equity investments why because there is something called gear put gear put means when the stocks will fall up to a range you are protected not knowing on those days that a stock can fall 50% for example if you look at tesla let me ask you anybody can answer me tesla's highest price in the last 6 month tesla's peak price in last 6 months anyone 880 Eighty-three. Today, what is the price, sir? Six hundred. How much it is fall in terms of percentage? Forty percent. That's what I'm trying to say. It took not even more than six months. Now, if your coupon is even a memory coupon, which they tell you that, sir, if the stock goes up, you might make money. And Tesla is one of the overvalued stock. Yes, ten-year picture could be great. Four-year picture could be great. But what if your structure note is already two-year in the 
uh, in the from the inception and it is finishing this year or next year you are going to get the lowest uh, uh, possible stock in your hand and or the cash and then you will not have a faith because you never realize what you are getting into if you are if you realize what you are getting into it's it, it could be a good product but i will say something even better than that which i'm going to show you shortly so now the terms and conditions are complex it clearly says it is not for a retail customer please go to the website the case happened from a local family it is worth 200 million dollar uh, requesting everyone to mute your mics please there's some disturbance coming in i'll just do that thank you yeah so now everybody is muted uh, you can unmute yourself if you want so the fee structure are not transparent yes lot of you tell me that bhuvan what we should do what is up to do if somebody is coming they will make money let them give we have to understand it sir the problem is if i am charging you a 5% fee structure embedded and i am not telling you it means the product has i have taken more risk in the product so it is very important no no what the other person is charging you that's very very important so that's why the fee, the transparency is the name of the game in the financial world if we have to grow from here we have to have a amazing transparency now there is a possibility of a wipe off of out of capital because let's say you are leverage or you bought a stock by the way one more thing i want to tell you you all know what is the interest rate right now like 1% 1.5% now if the interest rate is 1% how somebody can us give us 7 to 8% condition guarantee and it can only happen if they will buy a stock because this is this products are not made conducive to us these products are made conducive to the 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 the, the institutional investors and you remember this by the way in from tesla one of the biggest institutional investor the saudi saudi fund has already exited long back you can google this before even it reaches the 880 they have exited basically so it takes at least two months to a year for an institutional investor to exit from any hazard product so what i'm trying to tell you that please understand that you can also lose a lot of capital because the stock might not be right and the stock might fall 80 70% so tata motor i believe was at 45 or 43 and it went to to at 20 levels which is like a 100% kind of a loss and uh, it it's so not 20 it went to 15 actually and we were at 23 so 15 to 23 it has to come 50% up and it did not come and we all got the cash and i lost i think $70000 in tata motors structure note which i am going to show you now this is the case i talked about so a kuwaiti family which has been sold a 200 million dollar structure notes in 2007 2008 and this is what bank has for documentation which color classified the kuwaiti family as experienced investor i want to point out here and this i think this problem will always remain i can't help it whenever we go to an investor they don't even look at it they all sign the blank and that problem is always going to persist and if that going to persist this is going to happen because it's our pain also that we even want investors to fill but that doesn't happen and that's a very very crucial point i want to drive to you so first of all we should have sent this to let's say 300 people 23 of you came i think 17 of you are basically an informed uh, investor who wants to learn i will say that whenever you sign a document please make sure that you understand that what is experienced investor what is professional investors and what is retail investors by the way we don't onboard retail investors so we exactly know what a retail investor is so this particular high yield guaranteeing product is going on not from now it was a switzerland darling then i think the law in the europe there is a law called mifid 2 which came and now they have to disclose the fees on this also and this is how the products have been pushed to the middle east now i'm lately i'm seeing in india lot of the structure notes are being uh, promoted by our partners and i think it is a mass uh, uh, destruction weapon a uh, weapon is already in place and people are buying in india because now indian fixed deposits are not attractive so i am clearly seeing that the trend is shifted from the developed market to the middle east to the indian market so this is what i want to tell you then uh, in november 2015 the five year long legal battle culminated 
with the DIFC court ordering the bank to pay the family more than 70 million to cover the financial losses. This is what the latest case I want to show to you. Now, let's take an example of what we lost. So we had a section notes, Infosys, Tata Motor, HDFC Bank, ICICA Bank. Example, let's say three hundred thousand dollars invested, and uh, this is the. So let's talk about the section notes first, and then we we'll talk about the equity. The top one is equity investing, and the bottom one is sexual product. Please understand pretty well. Huh? So how do how does your mind play with you? I do not want to blame anybody else. I will say we were the we should be blame ourselves first of all. So structure product offered to us sixty five percent is the strike price, which means if any of this is stock like. When you are doing the structure note, you are underlines are Infosys, Tata Motors, HDFC Bank, and ICIC Bank. They all are in dollars. And current prices are that particular that that day on basically on 20th June, the prices are this. You are protected up to the 35% fall of the worst performing stock, which means up to these prices, if these stocks are falling, you are capital guaranteed. That is the, the word our mind listens to it, is the capital guarantee. Now, what happened? This guy invested. And what happened on the, on the valuation date, on the basically the date which he has matured, his current date is 29 June. It's a three-year structure note when it got matured. So if he would have invested separately on Infosys, he would have made 8%. If you would have invested in Tata Motor at 35, the price went to 6.71. And on a CAGR term, he was losing 42%, but he actually lost 80% of his investment on Tata Motors. HDFC Bank, he lost roughly uh, on a CAGR basis, he lost 20%. Or let's say, uh, as per this, basically it is saying 75 became 76. ICICA Bank, he put 75, it also has become 76. Both the places he gained some money, but Tata Motor he lost heavily. Now, since Tata Motor he has lost and the gear put is uh, 65%, the worst performing is Tata Motor. And Tata Motor has fallen more than 80%. So already it is more than 35%. So now the whole structure note, which does not have any upside and has an unlimited downside, will fall on the Tata Motor. Now 6.711 is 28.98% of the strike price. The strike price of Tata Motor is 23. The worst of fund is 28.98. And now if I multiply this with 300, this is what I'm going to get. And this is what I want to tell you. This is what I lost on my $150,000 percentage wise. Now if I would have not done that, and I would have bought with a similar allocation of 300, I would have bought 75, 75, 75, 75 of these companies. I would have lost heavily on Tata Motors, which I would have kept and would have sold later on, let's say on 2025. But even if I did not do that, I lost only $37,000 at the worst period of time, which is 29 June 2020. Now here my losses are, $176,000. I think it is compared to the 263, I believe. 86 is what? 200. So basically, it is compared to the equity alloc allocation of the similar uh, investment. Because if I lost 176, I will have no faith on financial investing. I'll go back to my fixed deposit and my real estate. But if I will do this, where the markets have gone down 30, 40%, and I'm still at 12% loss my faith will be much, much higher. I want you to ask question at this stage because we will not go back to structure notes and then after we go back to the bond. Do you have any question? Have you not understood this? Please feel free to ask. Uh, Bhuvan, on structure note, could you just maybe, uh, uh, again, a quick 30 second summary of, of structure note itself? Yeah. So structure notes are complex options. There are various ingredients which you can put. It is, you know, very simple. We all like the old wine in the new bottle. So structure notes has a lot of options for, or let's say a lot of choices to be embedded as per the customer's requirement. 
example one of a very good friend yesterday told me bhuvan ji you invest when i give you money you don't invest invest at the right time so a lot of us what happen we we always do not want to lose money let's say if you gave me 100000 dollar you never want to see 99000 dollar right rashid so these kind of yes. choice not available in the stock investing because the simple rule is in the 10 year if you see whether i invested invested at 10 dollar or 7 dollar or 5 dollar what is important is whether you are making more than 10 or not but in the structure note you can have so many choices you can go for american barrier you can go for european barrier you can go for 3 months you can go for memory coupon you can for, go for guaranteed coupon you can choose the stocks you want you can choose the indices you can keep on the bonds so the lot of choices they they are possible and based on that they give you the coupon which is the ultimate interest an investor has so structure note is basically a, a derivative it's a complex option product it's called the gear put or let's say american barrier put option up to you how you want to do it there are various uh, so i will uh, see such as if i'll explain the structure if you have never done it you are very lucky never ever do it people who have done it i think they have, they have they understand what i am trying to talk about it's a complex product in general you can avoid it by investing the same amount in those underlying which i just showed it to you one more thing i want to tell you in structure notes some days back there was a, a rumor about deutsche bank with due respect to deutsche bank please understand when you buy a structure notes you are not buying the stock you are actually buying the product of the issuer so where your risk in the above scenario is is already divided into 25% which you just saw that even losing money in tata motors you're still making money or is still let's say losing less money in this case in today's scenario if you look at today's scenario you're making good money as as per today's date in the structure note the biggest risk you have is the loss of the issuer's rating or the default of the issuer these things come later on because you are buying a derivative made of the uh, the bank or the bank's treasury desk so what i'm trying to say please understand you're increasing your risk further and the upside is ultimately capped and if the stocks will not perform you will also not get the benefit so rashid as it understood i tried to simplify it for you Bhuvan, one question. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, just a quick question. You just mentioned that had you waited for the Tata Motor stock, you could have made money uh, if you invested individually. Right. The third node is it specific for a specific time? Can that not be extended? So structured notes cannot be extended, sir, because it's a fixed contract. Everything is fixed, uh, and uh, you you only either you can sell it in the market. but since people are not that because people who buy structured notes i can tell you they are blindly listen to us i am again telling you i am i am the one who has sold all this i am the one who bought this and i am the one who has exited everything on 2019 so what i am saying is that since the that in that invest investor was more of a fixed coupon mentality when things yeah. go wrong the broker and the investor both do not know how to act and they do not sell off and buy the equivalent in the outside market but even if you do that sir you will at that time let's say already the damage has been done tata motor has already fallen to 10 dollar now when you will come out you will get the nav based on tata motor and not on the all four of them clear Correct. and Correct. you cannot change so now i'll give you a better example so, now, so second second question once again whenever a structured product is offered do they mention in in which and which companies they are uh, equity investing Yes, yes. The, in, in which in in the which equity is the underlying. I'm again telling you, structure note is not an investment in the equity underlying. It's the underlying means the structure note will work on those. So they always mention. I will share tons of term sheet with you. So there is no problem. They always mention that. Okay, thank you. Now another example, which is like 2017. 26 they're all live huh? they're all live i have the term sheets if you are interested will be happy to share so it's on a banking stocks deutsche bank credit suisse ubs and icici bank 
and uh, and by the way i want to tell you a lot of people want to meet me and you know they have changed the uh, the company and they want to come and tell my guys how to sell structure notes i politely tell them tell them i will tell you i will tell you but i think i don't want to be in this game there is no uh, blessings in this game at one point particular time client will definitely lose money and that will make the whole relationship bitter see even if tomorrow an equity investment goes 30 40% down i'm absolutely fine because it will come back automatically but in structure notes client stop listening to you and somebody enters at that moment and says sir aapne to product galat kar liya so what we have understood and realized that the transparency from the day one is the most important and simplicity of the investment we don't want to keep it complex so now coming to the point number 2 this is the second structure note and the strike is 75 means you are protected up to what point anybody can answer 25 25% of the capital of the worst performing yeah okay so let's say your three stocks are above 120% but one is below 75% you are gone and that's but, but, what but, but this is yeah but this is you know very again i have not much experience but this is a very strange derivative product right that's <laughs> like purely purely <laughs> speculation right yeah there are the, the, the see the, we uh, that's why we i'm sitting in alkhali center not here see <laughs> yeah i think i think it looks like someone is going out of the way to defraud investors i'm i'm good rashid you've spoken that a lot of our participants are existing investors i'm sure Uh, they are listening listening and they have lost their money if they'll come out and openly tell people that it should not be then i think i will be very happy i will not force but i know a lot of my participants have lost money i am very open about it i don't know any sindhi fellow in the stock in the market who have not lost money in this investments and the relationship just gone gone sour because neither the broker not the investor knew what they are doing and everybody was doing the same thing and today also i think people are now luring you with 25% kind of a coupon and i can't take the names of any um, broker or any provider so anyways let's just do the education it is only our responsibility to make sure we don't do this now this is structure note where you have 75% strike and you saw that on the 27th of april assuming we are doing the uh, so one more thing i want to tell you rashid is good question you asked and please understand uh, in a structure note if all the stocks are above 100 or 95 or 90 depending on how you have taken the good thing of a structure note is it gets call back so you get your whole money back with the interest and believe me i'll tell you one thing i have this uh, one product where people have uh, have to stay for 3 3 and half years and they will get 13% inr or 10% dollar return depending on the uh the uh, dollar uh, depreciation or annual depreciation people are you us we are not ready to hold on our investment for 3 and 1/2 years and here again structure note very well hammer our mind and it says that sir if any quarter any quarter all the stocks are above the threshold or 100 you will get your capital back it is so music to the investors uh, mind that wow my liquidity is intact and they never understand that let's say if uh, if the stocks are above 100 uh, and the money calls back so you have to again pay 2% because ultimately everything is charged to investor only it is whether it is shown to you or not a lot of people tell me in mutual fund we don't pay anything are the mutual fund how will they run just think about it they are charging you and they, it is under their balance sheet so in what happens let's say after 3 or 6 months your section note is called back as a broker on a million dollar i already made 20000 dollar after 6 months if it gets called back you are very happy which is basically like march may whoever done the structure notes by may june july august september they have come out now to explain to them it is very difficult because they made money and they got their liquidity they never realize that now they would have made three or because your coupon is fixed and as soon as it comes back you actually lost the opportunity to hold the same structure note at the lower price because now when you will buy a structure note market is at the high so it is an amazing money making tool for broker and customer also is happy wow i got called back i got called back a shorter duration product where that old fellow is saying that don't even buy stocks 
for 10 minutes if you do not want to help hold for 10 years but who wants to watch pain drying on the wall and that's the situation here so now coming to the second structure note you saw that if somebody would have hold on to it the strike prices uh, this is uh, the uh, strike price deutsche bank went into a lot of downside and uh, the if you look at it is exactly 47 50% and the final price is 47.29 and then we multiply this with the 400 dollar investment and it came out to be final redemption is $189,000. If the client would have invested in the four underlying separately, he would have still lost the money on 27th of April, which is the worst day of market, but still his losses are in a range of roughly uh, 35%. Vis-a-vis, -vis, if you look at, he has lost 50% plus here. Okay. Now, if you again make it change this date to 27th or let's say of this month, you would have found that he is making money in the Deutsche Bank rates within UBS Group and ICICA Bank, but he is still not making money over here. That's a second example we took where equity diversification has helped. Though equity is not a three-year product, but it definitely has, has done much better than structural growth. Third investment will take the airlines. Now, who knew all this will happen? That's what I am saying that even if one stock belongs to oil or one stock belongs to a bank like Deutsche or one stock belongs to an airline industry and even if you have a Tesla or Alibaba or Baidu, still you might lose money. Now, here you see the customer gave $400,000 in 2018 and the strike is 75 worst of final he should be getting the here what has happened actually just give me a minute yeah so he made money here it's a good thing on a four hundred thousand dollar he made four eighty four thousand dollars so a good structure product where you could make money because just stocks did well but look at what he would have made even after losing in delta airlines because the tesla price ran so well he would have made $1.392 million. So actually an opportunity loss of $907,000. Guys, this is the classic case I want to highlight where you might make money in such a note. So there is nothing wrong if you're not leveraging and you're holding it for five years. But if you would have hold the stocks and one stock would have gone up because of the power of compounding, you will have significant gain in your stock holding or your investments. Any question for on this? Okay. Now this one I will not cover. It's a very uh, very uh, complex, but it is something which has lost complete capital for people because of the Fed reducing the interest rate to zero and whole market has lost money here. Now, I think I'm done with the structure notes. If you have any question, you can ask me because I'm now entering the bond I think we have got 10, 15 minutes. I'm going to cover the bond and then we will just pause for questions. Any question on session notes? Can you explain again uh, the call? Like how does the call action work? Okay. Like when... Ma'am, if you don't mind, have you ever invested in session notes? Can I know that? Yes. So I'm currently investing in a structure note. That's why I want to understand better like and so, one of my structure note got called back and uh, I got my capital back. But then again, I invested into a, a second structure note once uh, it got called back. Okay. Is it okay if I talk to you on your term sheet tomorrow, day after tomorrow, I'll give you half an hour. You share your term sheet with us. That is yes, much. Sure. Yeah. So please uh, feel free to drop in or uh, on Zoom and please share your term sheet. It'll be an unbiased opinion, which I'll give it to you. And you are still, I think, in a good shape because markets have not uh, tanked, which might happen the next year. So we can discuss about it. Okay. Thank you. Now, yeah. Now coming to the bond market. Now this is where something, what is happening that, again, brokers are approaching you and they are telling you to buy bonds. It used to be a good play. It used to be a very simple play to buy bonds. And you don't have to be an expert of the bond to buy a bond when the interest rates were going down, which is happening. I think 40 years, the US treasury rates are already only going down, 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 and down. And now they have touched zero. 
and the situation here of for all the investor is how to make money so one thing i want to tell you there is a product called mosla oswal real estate fund which is fund 7 uh, i'm not marketing it to you i'm telling you these people are offering you a 10% dollar or 13% inr depending on the depreciation of currency they're offering you a product where you can get these returns these returns are backed up by the real estate project and the land they have been successful they have been awarded and this is what you can look as an alternative since time is less i am straight forward telling you if you are interested about it you can tell us also or you can approach them also now what is happening on the bond market warren buffett said it is a stupidity to be in the bond market right now uh, some great investor uh, in investment manager said that bonds offer you return free risk please please listen to me very carefully i'm saying bonds offer you return free risk at this moment bonds are great investments if you want to hold them from today to the maturity and you want to have that coupon or yield which is given to you then it is fine so you want to let's say want to make 3% 4% 5% and in case you are getting a good bond which is very rare to get at 5% today it's absolutely fine you go ahead and buy it but what i know of that lot of us are bond traders they want to buy a bond low they want to sell bond high that time my friend has actually gone because of too much of money printing and people being less less of a um, risk averse what has happened is too much of junk bonds also people have subscribed in the world where people are giving money to the ideas where there is no earning for example nikola nikola stock is a 15 billion dollar company they have not even sold their first car so let's try and understand that if this is what is happening and people are playing that kind of game and they are now if you look at the junk bond also the 2021 which this is a bloomberg article i believe where the junk bond issuance have gone all time high so it's a suppliers market it is not the buyers market now in fact today morning i was reading financial times that us government is struggling to sell their treasury and the yields have gone to upward of 1.67% yields have basically gone up 50% which means the bonds have corrected from january 13% and just to show you just an example i'm showing uh, it is a long bond i know but i just want to show you what kind of fall can happen in the the bond market also google bond 2016 maturity so this is alphabet's bond and which is actually was at 100 so first of all bond investors please don't do leverage because when you do leverage with the bond it becomes more risky as compared to buying an equity investments so today we will discuss bond investments where people don't want to leverage because leverage is absolutely against the ethics today for if to for me to discuss also so anyways i think price is 80 just now i showed it to you this is the bond i think page is loading so let's come back to this this page, this page later one minute yeah so bond bond market is overcrowded interest rates are the lowest they cannot go negative you should read the you should read between the lines when the fed says we like the inflation or we are okay if inflation in the range of 2% which means they are not going to take it negative so one thing which we can infer that the interest rates are not going to go down so if they are not going to go negative bonds can not have a further run though bonds have made amazing money for people in the last 6 months or one year because the interest rates were crashing down now from here what to do that's the question so one product i told you which you can look into and understand now when to buy the bonds is when the inflation is low i'm sorry the inflation the interest rate is high then is the time for you to buy the bond now high interest rates have not yet touched they are going to touch the high high interest rates are going to happen and that is the time we can buy the bond so time being what we can do give me a minute i will just share with you 
So what you can do is you can short the bonds. You can buy the bond inverse. So let me show you the bond inverse. And uh, this is a little bit risky product, but you need to do your own research. One second. Inverse bond fund. So you can buy inverse bond fund. You can go to Investopedia and look at invest inverse bond fund where basically they buy a swap and they short bond. So they are basically shorting the 20 year treasury. If you look at the YTD performance, it is 14%. You have made by shorting bonds 14% in the last three months. It was 15.86, it is 17.9. Please do not take as a recommendation, discuss with your financial advisor and understand that if you are about all about bonds, you can actually, what you can do right now is you can short the bond and to help you that you can buy these kind of inverse bond product. So that could be one another way to buy the bond. What you should avoid and what how should you play the bond game? You should always play the bond game with the credit rating available. There are some people who are very expert, like uh, I know one fr a friend of mine, Sanu Puni, who basically is a bond trader. They read a lot, a lot, a lot. And they find, maybe they find this balance sheet anomaly, which is not our job. We cannot do that. Coming to tracking the bond, I'll show you how to track the bond. There is a software given by one of my, uh, one of a good man who basically has a $20 million bond portfolio. And he uses this tool. This tool does not give you an analysis, but you can check the bond by rating, etc. It's a paid tool. It's a, uh, what do you call, uh, trial version. And there is a company called Gen Irrigation. And I remember that people were selling this, uh, Gen irrigation and bond in this market. But if you see, the bond can also collapse like anything. And it was a $100 bond. And see how it collapsed in the coronavirus uh, aftermath. And it's become 22.81. So people have lost 80% of their wealth roughly in this bond. Now I checked the balance sheet of the company. And I don't think so. It is so easy for them to come back. So what I'm trying to say, whenever you play a bond fund investment, Always go by rating. Today, it is a very difficult time to tell you to buy any bond or to search because when I search on the bond, this also nothing is coming. There's a company which we hold on our portfolio called Denos uh, Corporation. They have a 2028 bond, which is, is still offering a yield of, what the, where is the yield? The current coupon is 8.5 and it is offering a yield of, I don't know where the yield is, 7.38. So if you are okay to do this kind of research or your financial advisor is okay to do this kind of research, you might look at to this kind of opportunity to buy a bond when you are saying, no, I want to buy a bond only. So this is a 2028 bond. If you can hold up to that, uh, you have a 7.38 kind of a guaranteed coupon. Then also is improving, but you need an insight. You need to know the balance sheet, et cetera, et cetera. So what I, I will summarize this session with that today is not the bond market timing. Let me also share one more thing with you. Ray Dalio, I thought I will talk about uh, this. He just wrote on the bond article and the article is very well said. The title itself is very opt. Why in the world would you own bonds when? And he has clearly given about the history. I will tell all of you to read about, read his book. This is the book I read and I completely uh, wiped off all my leverages and instruction note position. 
and he is saying this is this is the period when we had the negative yields and it was a great monetization period which is happening right away and he also says that even in the real term you lose money in cash also he has given this article everything he has talked about all the charts and he said that this is not the time to be in bond because if you buy a bond you want to make money and the time which you will take to recover your money at today's time is more than 55 60 years to get your capital back in the bond that kind of yield is going on so his very bond price fall significantly and that will produce significant loss for holders of them which could encourage more selling so what he's saying that us government will bring more bonds and they will do the bond buying and they will basically uh, uh, try to stabilize the system which will take the the yield further up and it will create a lot of instability so what he's saying that there is now more than 75 trillion of us debt assets of varying maturity us treasury bonds and notes are roughly 16 trillion dollar and the 5 trillion dollar is the other maturity uh, treasury notes and what is saying that if investors decide to sell all this because they are not happy with what the yield what happens is you will not be able to sell and that will create a havoc and that will take the yields to very very high just to tell you 1971 the us 10 year treasury was offering 44% as per the book of peter lynch 1971 or 1970 uh, 1971 the us treasury was offering 44% return i am not saying that will happen i am not trying to deceive you to buy a bond all i am saying is bonds are like fixed deposit buy them as per the ratings investment grade is triple b minus or uh, in the in the snp and you can see the similar rating on the moody's do not touch a bond if you are a layman do not touch a bond below these ratings because anything can happen like in the bond market second thing a retail investor should always avoid bond because 200000 dollar is the minimum amount which you have to invest in the bond so go through a bond fund route if you want to but if you will read this article you will yourself be convinced not to get into bond right now now i'll tell you one more data which should help you so this call e value bond e value you can get the subscription free uh, for the trial period and you can check and track the live bonds as a transparent structure uh, many investors use it that's one thing i told you second thing i told you you can look at the inverse bond etfs again apply caution i'm not recommending it i'm only making you aware which are a derivative on the bond so the bond goes down they goes up so this is how their performance is if you look at their max performance i think they are only going down and from here they are now picking up so it could be a good timely opportunity to buy these kind of investments uh, you can go to investopedia and look at top 5 inverse bond etf and the one i just chosen was pro share short 20 plus year treasury you can go for 7 to 10 year treasury you can decide what you want to do if you only want to play bond a third option i gave you that go for a fixed income product like what motlal oswal has to offer and uh, that we can separately discuss if at all you're interested and we want to be in fixed income this article you can just search why world would you why in the world you would own bonds when ray dalio has mentioned about it he is one of the largest asset uh, hedge fund manager and i'm i think we should listen to him now coming back to my presentation Yeah. Uh, bro, one just a question. <clears throat> This uh, product, the inverse bond product that you mentioned, that's still a speculative, right? Uh, I will not be able to come in. I have not uh, studied that. You should look at the terms, terms and condition of the uh, this thing. See, I will tell you, Rashid. Uh, I think you should stick to the stocks. That is much better. It is for the people who want to be in bonds. Uh, if you are really keen on it, we can discuss it later. but uh, i can't comment on it because uh, red alio mentioned in his is things he is shorting bonds mm. so red alio has mentioned that he is shorting bonds he is a hedge fund hedge fund stake uh, long and they do short also so yeah. if you believe in shorting then it could be a product for you so we yeah, but, but i guess my point my, my point being is that you know whether it's a right decision or not but it's still speculative in a sense you are expecting the bond values to drop 
only then you would make money right uh, so yeah i think sop should sop comes in derivative category because it is made of sop by the way so all the holdings in the in that particular thing is sops and sop comes under the derivative so from that perspective it is speculation or hedging yeah because at the end of the day if you are investing in the bond itself right then... no bond is not a speculation bond is a simple investment. exactly exactly by the is speculative grade which is lower than the investment grade yeah so i think again it just depends right you know your prediction about the future right do you expect you know the debt market to behave in a certain way and if absolutely. it does you make money right absolutely any investment you you have to predict the stock market you have to predict the future the only thing is that the uh, the stock can go unlimited high the bonds cannot go unlimited high so that is what the the basic challenge with the bonds right now bonds cannot go to 200 400 they can only go to 105 106 110 120 maximum so that is the challenge there it is so yes you are right uh, that if you do not do it properly it is a speculation i totally agree unless <laughs> unless you buy a sri lankan government bond these days that is a speculation so sri lankan bonds lot of people bought it i will i i do not want to discuss a particular bond but anything you buy lower than the investment grade you know as an alter i don't think so i should tell this people should avoid people have bought venezuela and people have uh, the brokers come and sell you venezuela I, and this gen education i am sure somebody will be having in our uh, this thing so gen education is also now see what happened 100 become 27 uh, people were ha- having noble commodity from singapore which which tang then people got off so anyways lan i think we have time limitation uh right now the us public debt is 140% of the gdp and the deficit is all time high it is more than the twice the level of great recession as per this chart and this is the treasury yield which has risen recently which i just told you so this is alarming and i think once this moratorium period is over we will see sign of cracking and that is a the time then you will see anything can happen by the way one more thing i want to highlight that ray dalio also mentioned that the chinese bonds are more attractive today as compared to the us bonds because the world is very much uh, towards us and less on china but china has become one of the largest country in the world people can't survive without china so what he has mentioned that chinese bond could be looked upon that's what he has said because they offer a, a great uh, value for the price people want to pay one more question i have for all of you before you ask me a question can you tell me a five year us uh, uh, dollar depreciation of chinese currency anyone so what would have happened to chinese currency in 5 years against us dollar 5 years from today or 5 years since so last 5 years i know 5 years from the last uh, last 5 years i think the currency has depreciated because the chinese were trying to depreciate it that's what i remember but i'm i'm not sure exactly last 5 no year point here no problem let's see this so it was 6.46 and it is 6.5 so it's almost there okay so it's almost, slightly depression always there and think from so that's one thing now second question i have why i'm asking this because lot of us have a 10 year memory 10 year memory is where you know the the indian currency has depreciated so so uh, badly against the us dollar chinese chinese war, war, was in the uh, what china wanted to depre- depreciate their currency to get a lot of export to the us but now we should refresh our memory that in the five year so uh by the way there is no investment advice on this session so all education i am also learning and sanu please feel free to speak and uh, i am sure you can tell what you are doing and uh, i am happy you uh, come no this time i have three questions for you okay okay so second co- before we go to that my the question which you are going to uh, shoot to me the second thing i want to show you the usd to inr depreciation now how many of you can tell me what is the depreciation on the usd to inr in the last 5 years Five to six percent. Five to six percent annual, right? Yeah, that's been the number that's been floating around here. No problem. So now, when we look at it, it was sixty-six point five four. It is seventy-two point four five, 
So it is roughly 2.1%, 2.15. You want, I can calculate and show it to you. So it was 66.54 and it is now only 72.45. So this crisis is absolutely different where dollar have been printed like crazy and uh, there will be a lot of decoupling which might happen because currencies of the developing nations like Asia and, uh, Asian uh, currencies uh, countries are stronger as compared to the US. So I wanted to leave you with this thought that please, please be data oriented. Please do not have 10 year picture. Things have changed. Interest rates have fallen across the world. The, the commodity producing countries are stronger. By the way, the copper is telling us that inflation is coming because copper is the base metal which is just shooting. We should be in a commodity super cycle. Uh, the in the Turkish lira, gold has already become five times in the last five years. That might happen. That might happen. With that, I would like to finish my presentation and I'm open to questions and learning. So please ask Sanup, I think you wanted to uh, ask. Please. Yeah, uh, Bhuvan. So see, I, again, for my personal account, uh, I used to uh, use a couple of international banks because uh, they used to give leverage. So my first question to you is, if I want to do the same investments through you, uh, would you be able to give us leverage? That was my first question. Uh, just let me just finish all the three so that you can answer me. That was my first question. My second question was, uh, I'm also of the view now that I want to short the bond market. Uh, you showed me the ETF, uh, one of the ETFs that you just showed. Is that something that you can offer if we come to invest through you? And... Two, can I also get leverage on that? Uh, second. Uh, and the third question I had was, look, I was recently looking at um, government of Bahrain 2022 bond. Okay. It pays, uh, it's, it's less than one year. It pays reasonably well. Okay. As an investor, I know what's the default risk of Bahrain. I tried to get leverage on that, but a lot of banks obviously don't give leverage on sub-investment grade. Okay. They don't give more than 50% LTV. Uh, what I then did was for one of my institutional clients, I suggested this for him. And because he was an institutional client, I got the bond for him. And then I report the bond for him till maturity. And I got him a repo rate of uh, something like LIBOR plus 20. So yani ki 40 basis point ka leverage cost. And the repo was at a haircut of uh, 10 or 15%. Matlab ki LTV 85%. The institutional client got the deal done at a beautiful leverage return. Okay. But me as a retail guy, when I tried to get it, I cannot, I couldn't do it. Now, if I come through you, can I get it done? Okay. So these are my three questions. Before, before I answer your questions, you should tell who you are. So guys, uh, there is a star uh, and is a very uh, uh, good friend. Then why don't you introduce yourself first? No, no, leave it. My questions are, uh, I'm, I'm today as a normal guy who has no, some no, money who that. wants to invest money. <laughs> Let, let's say, for example, if the bond trader comes out and say, I'm not a, a star bond trader, it's not possible. <laughs> no, Kala, so, so work-wise, I, I run one of the largest uh, yeah. investment book in Middle East. Okay. L okay. Let's keep it to that. Anoop is one of the, um, I think, awarded bond trader. And Sanup, just to answer you, I do not offer all that. I've stopped doing all that. Uh, yes, it is possible through the banks. I can check for you. But I will primarily focus only the stocks because that fund management job requires same kind of reading which you do in the bonds. So leverage and the bond, uh, bond inverse ETF, IBKR can give it to you. So you don't even need me for that. I can show you how to open the account and even I can try if, you, if, if this ETF, if it is, I'm sure it is possible to buy for me. I can just try for you and then you can yourself open the account because I am a fund manager today and I'm purely on the equity side. My company does all this, but I'm against the leverage. So I am not going to offer you the leverage thing. I can offer you bond inverse ETF, but bond inverse ETF, I'm not giving any advice. So what you can do, I can try to in interactive brokers. And if it is happening, then you can open an account and buy. That's a simple answer to your question. Okay. Okay. So you, you want to only offer equity investments at no, the end I, of the day. I offer, you know, so there is a, this product called. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, that yeah, is. You you can offer bonds, but you don't want to do the leverage part of. Things. No, no, I'm offering a fixed income product uh, through my company, which is basically giving you thirteen percent INR fixed coupon. and that should be that is a very good product one should look for to that actually so i can arrange oh, that's interesting i can yeah, that's interesting them i do not know in qatar what is the taxation benefit but in uh, dubai we have a taxation benefit so uh, priya or uh, i will talk to you on that i will share show, share the product with you if you're interested we'll take it forward yeah, yeah i i'm in kuwait and there is no taxation ha huh, okay no no the taxation will be from, okay we'll discuss about that i think there's a fine thing. fine no problem anything else anybody has so bro i know this is a bond related uh, session uh, but given a bit of uh, negative uh, trend on the equity market so uh, any quick thoughts on on how did you see the last uh, few days to a week on the equity markets okay so if you say the last few days uh, since you are an investor and you are asking i think question in that direction thursday has been pretty good right <laughs> so uh, re- relatively speaking yeah yeah so i'll say this uh stop seeing it on a daily basis it's a five year journey uh i have taken a significant position in one company and i think you should focus on that and discuss with with me because that should be a company which so uh, and uh, using the callis formula i will share a chapter with you of investing which i'm reading uh be assured in five year it will be we will be beating the bond investors as i know please don't mind it i'm just uh, just a joke cracking a joke so basically we should be all good all good <laughs> we should be making 10 to 12% minimum to minimum so there is no thought uh, what i will again tell you i'll share the excel sheet with you put 10 companies randomly and try and check in 5 years with various date and i think your confidence will come back So the only regret an equity investor will have. So by the way, I am not into SPAC. I am not into Teslas of the world or Zoom or Neo. I love these companies. Uh, I love Okta. Uh, I love HubSpot. I love Team. We are not invested into that. So be assured that more than you, I want to make money, and we are so clubbed that I can't make money without you making money. So there is no thought on the short run. Hi, Bhuvan. This sure. is Akhilesh. Yes, sir. Please go ahead. Yeah, regarding that bond. uh you have the negative thought about that so what is uh, because i'm seeing i'm also tracking one of the bond you are also aware of that the price is going high so it's time to uh, still keep or when uh, you will see uh, akhilesh i akhilesh i think i think you are on the right forum sanup uh, mr akhilesh is our investor and he is holding a bond which is in saudi and sanup is one person who i think goes through 30 40 bonds in a day so please ask your question with the bond name and sanup should answer yeah i yeah, have the bond? sri lanka bond sanup uh, i bought uh, sri lanka bond i was also getting the uh, that uh, leverage from bank but i did not took that leverage they are ready to give me like uh, 50% of leverage at the rate of 1% but i did not took that leverage and only i invested uh, one slot i took i have taken and still it is i'm seeing some uh, it's increasing uh, it was at the rate of 62 now i think it is 65 or something so you, you, what is your you have government of sri lanka bond yes government of sri lanka sabji you are in the money right <laughs> sorry you you are making profit right now right yes little bit not much yeah yeah exit exit <laughs> okay <laughs> there are uh, like believe me uh, there are way better opportunities than keeping your money in uh, government of sri lanka with rates moving higher because it's a it's a junk rated bond sri lanka has its own uh, credit issues with interest rates moving higher you can make much better returns and honestly in equities now uh, so you are in the money you are in profit exit before things get bad the problem is this i can ask you to hold it but when things turn bad these days things turn bad overnight so you will wake up and you will see yourself 5 10% change in loss okay. and as a retail investor you will not have the time to respond um uh so for somebody like you paise ban rahe hai abhi profit mein hai aap nikal jaiye isse bahut acha opportunities aapko market mein bhuvan itself can tell you there are way better opportunities than this Okay. Yeah. 
Any what do you think, Bhuvan? Uh, you, you, you are on the same page. No, I'm absolutely on the same page because uh, okay. see, my my macro picture is very clear that you will make tons of money in the bond, and I'm sure you are holding a lot of cash, Sanu. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I actually sold a lot of my positions in Jan Feb, and uh, since March I have been sitting on cash. I'm not investing right now. Even work wise, I'm saying. So Sanu, I also got one coupon. First coupon I got also. <laughs> so it's uh. Ne- नहीं नहीं आई एम नॉट सेइंग कि इट विल डिफॉल्ट अगर आप मैच्योरिटी तक होल्ड करोगे तो आपको पैसा नहीं मिलेगा मेरे को आई डोंट हैव द प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज़ आई दाय माय मेन मोटिव इज टू कीप फॉर लॉन्गर पीरियड आई नीड सम इन्वेस्टमेंट वेयर आई हैव सम कॉन्फिडेंस बट इट इज द रेटिंग वाज गॉट लाइक सी सो दैट वाज वरीड मी बट आई दिस आई पुट इन द लाइक ओके आई एम गेटिंग फॉर लॉन्ग टर्म आई पुट दिस इन 2024 So I have that money requirement in twenty four, twenty five only. I don't need it now. What is? So that was my one of the requirement. So given given that it's Sri Lanka, I would uh, I would advise you to exit. Honestly, that okay. would be my advice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, thank you, Sanup. Thank you, Akhilesh. Now I think we have two questions here. Um, Mr. Anand, can you be very clear about your query? What they are spending? Let me go on. And this question goes to Sanup as well. uh why was yes bank bond defaulted and uh, there was a court hearing on that that the bonds not to be paid can you put some light on that that why bond is a last instrument to be paid by any organization then go ahead you go first yeah so this is a classic uh, classic mistake and and this is again a big 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 mistake of uh, bad selling it is not uh, you you have to understand in the bond market there's something called senior debt and there is subordinated debt the bond that defaulted was a subordinated 81 bond theek hai now what is an 81 bond if you if you notice any bank has to raise capital they have to maintain something called capital adequacy ratio right now there are only two ways in the world to raise capital ya to fir aap equity issue karo ya to fir aap 81 bonds issue karo now now um, now you can also issue a bond as a senior debt like like you take a loan banks issue banks borrow money aapke jo deposits hain these are all senior debt theek hai ab hierarchy ye hai ki kal ko koi bank agar default kar jata hai to all the stakeholders jiske liye bhi liabilities hain jinke bhi jisse bhi usne borrow kiye hain liquidation process hoga aur liquidation process mein seniority ke hisab se aapko paise diye jayenge तो जो सीनियर डेट होल्डर्स हैं उसको पहले पैसे दिए जाएंगे फिर जो सबॉर्डिनेटेड डेट होल्डर्स हैं उसको पैसे दिए जाएंगे फिर भी अगर पैसा बचा तो इक्विटी होल्डर्स को दिया जाएगा दिस इज द नॉर्मल हायर आर की नाउ एंड एटी वन बॉन्ड एटी वन बॉन्ड इज इवन मोर इनफैक्ट वी टेलिंग दिस एटी वन बॉन्ड आर इवन मोर रिस्कियर देन इक्विटी इन्वेस्टर्स बिकॉज इन एन एटी वन बॉन्ड दैंक डज नॉट है टू डिफॉल्ट एंड एटी वन बॉन्ड इज वेरी पेक्युलर इट से if my capital adequacy ratio falls below the minimum that the local central bank has told me then as a bank i have the authority to not pay you the coupon as a bond holder and i can even default on the on the principal that you have paid me okay so oh. this is actually what an 81 bond is so you think about it it's even worse than an equity and that's exactly what happened you had a situation where Yes Bank came and said, "Acha, my capital actually Yes Bank is not defaulted. Only its capital adequacy ratio went below what the central bank's regulated minimum was. And on that basis, they said, 'Acha, chalo, now I am defaulting on my 81.' And why this happened? This became such a big mess because these bonds were sold to retail guys who didn't understand this. If it was institutional investors only, they wouldn't have made this uh, made a big deal about it because." as institutional investors we know what is an 81 bond but when you start selling it to retail guys then all the retail guys went up in arms are bond hai aise kaise ho sakta hai ki bond default ho gaya aur equity walo ko abhi bhi paisa because at that same time yes bank had a certain equity value correct so that was the whole fiasco and uh, and honestly this ruling is also technically wrong as a bank as per the prospectus of an 81 bond Yes, bank was in his right to completely write down the eighty-one bonds. The investor should should read prospectus. आप में से कितने लोग हैं 
जो जब बॉन्ड इन्वेस्ट करते हो कितने लोग हैं जो प्रोस्पेक्ट पढ़ते हो कोई नहीं पढ़ता कोई फाइनल टर्म शीट नहीं पूछता है कोई प्रोस्पेक्ट नहीं पूछता है कोई कुछ नहीं पढ़ता है बस ऐसे ही इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हैं दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम तो तो व्हेन व्हेन यू ले योर सेल्फ द बैंक बैंक बैंकर्स आर जस्ट देयर टू भुवन वाज एब्सोल्युटली राइट व्हेन ही स्टार्टेड दिस इज दिस इज मार्केट दिस इज हाउ द होल वर्ल्ड इज वर्किंग एंड नॉट ओनली बैंकर्स आर फॉर दैट मैटर आई कैन इवन इवन कॉर्पोरेट सो दिस इज व्हाट हैपन इन द केस ऑफ yes bank so i know a lot of investors are also invested in tier 1 bonds of some of the gcc banks so please i would request you guys to go read the term sheet read the prospectus very clearly understand the risk you can have a scenario tomorrow where your entire capital will get wiped off even though the bank still remains solvent Ah. So, 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 just a question that in such cases, uh, <clears throat> when you know this eighty-one bonds, I presume they compensate you with a higher return, right? Because the risk is higher. Look, look. These days, I'll give you a small example. These days, banks are able to raise eighty-one bonds at a yield of three to four percentage. Okay. Uh, right. A ten a ten year Indian railway bond might be trading at two two and a half. can you believe that is that between a senior debt and an 81 i mean i hope you now understand the risk you are hardly being compensated one percentage is that really good enough for you no you are taking really. all this risk for one percentage better you take the risk of an equity agreed agreed not worth yeah, so it to, yeah see for you as a retail investor it's not worth it yes as a bank as a bank investor for me 10 basis point makes a big difference because as yeah. a bank my inherent Volume. business is leveraged no 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 inherently i am a leveraged business na bank main mm. aapse main aapse agar mera equity kitna hai 1 dollar hoga mera equity mere liabilities mm. aap dekhoge kisi bhi bank ke balance sheet mein aap dekhiye liabilities at least 20 time hoga equity ka yeah. to yeah. inherently wo to wo to leverage business chala hi rahe hain wo log to yeah. unko for them it makes sense for retail guy yaar 1 percentage ke liye kahan itna fight marna The, so that's that, that's what has happened today because rates have fallen so much that uh, you and and that's the other point you you are being forced into equities and structured products and all of these things simply because you are trying to search uh, to chase yield yeah yeah they are more fashionable yeah, yeah so- they, they're playing see the bankers everybody is playing with your mind दे नो योर एफ डी रेट यूज टू बी नाइन टेन अभी आपको पांच छह मिल रहा है तो उनको पता है कि आप लोग आ जाओगे मैंने अगर सात भी दे दिया आप आ जाओगे Yeah, I, I think that there was a good series on Netflix, Inside Job, right? I yeah. think I think that kind of explains a lot of the stuff. So I think just to take you over, the I think the basic issue with all of us are we are driven by our past, and once if we have made money with a trial. method we want to do it again but what we don't know that for the last 40 year the interest rates are only falling which means bonds are only going in one direction and whatever it gets issued it is going up so now even bonds have not become uh, not a common sense and i just i think anu anu i want to quote sir i want to quote this that whenever you buy a bond you should look at you should not buy anything below senior unsecured just to be on the cautious side do not because yeah yeah as a as a retail investor with the uh, see if you are not a banker if you are not in the investment profession if your main focus of work is other than this for you you are trying to generate an investment income for a certain future purpose and you do not have time every day to sit 2 3 hours follow markets and and do all of those kind of things so if this is your profile i would strictly advise you to go Uh, anything below senior unsecured don't go for subordinated debt and like bhuvan said don't go for anything below investment grade even if the even if that means you are earning only 2 or 3 percentage so be it at least your capital is protected do teen to do teen utna to milega uh, i have one question also so in government like uh, anyway i have also made the plan for to sell i have already told to my relationship manager so <laughs> it's already i have uh, suggested him to he is telling ki sure sir i am tracking and i will sell very soon uh, he is waiting for some bit 
opportunity and all. So, but, but what is the risk in government bond? Even his rating is uh, like C and B. So, anyway, it's better than uh, private equity or uh, still it is big risk. Sabji, I will answer that question very simple. So, the government of India has dollar-denominated bond issue. Bond issue means that they have borrowed in dollars. आप ये बताइए मेरे को कि गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया कल को अगर आपको डॉलर में कूपन या आपके प्रिंसिपल वापस करना है तो उसके पास डॉलर कहां से आ रहा है गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इज नॉट फेडरल रिजर्व कि वो प्रिंट कर सकता है डॉलर सही बात है राइट right. तो आप right. बताइए कि गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया आपको डॉलर्स कैसे पे करेगी उनके पास रिजर्व होना चाहिए आइर उनके पास उतना गोल्ड होना चाहिए ही कैन गो एंड टेक द लोन ऑन द बेस ऑफ द गोल्ड एंड क्योंकि गवर्नमेंट वैसे भी उनका तो एक्सपेंसिस आर मोर देन इनकम बट सोचिए उनके पास इंडियन रुपये है दिस इज देर इनकम दिस इज योर सैलरी राइट now you have to pay somebody dollar you will go to the international market you will go to some fx trader say ye lo dollar sorry ye lo indian rupee mereko dollar do mm-hmm. theek hai now think if the economic condition of that country is deteriorating and all of those kind of things i am an fx trader sitting in jp morgan the indian government comes and tells me i want dollars what will i do oh your country is not doing good well well risk is there you have to pay more यानी कि अगर अगर मेरे को एक डॉलर वॉज इज टूडे सेवेंटी टू रुपीज आई विल टेल इम नो पे मी सेवेंटी टू फिफ्टी वॉट एम आई डूइंग इन डायरेक्टली आई एम डेप्रिशिएटिंग योर कर साइकिल यू कीप कमिंग आस्किंग मोर एंड मोर डॉलर आई विल कीप डेप्रिशिएटिंग योर करेंसी मोर एंड मोर वॉट हैपन्स इफ योर करेंसी स्टार्ट डेप्रिशिएटिंग बिग टाइम ओके यू नो वॉट हैपन्स राइट इन्फ्लेशन Right, yeah. right, right. Big exactly, which is why, except for the US, US can print as much. You sorry, US can borrow as much as dollars as they want, because he can go and print it. He can keep printing dollars, because right. he, dollar is the reserve currency. That is why when Bowen said oh, the US GDP is what one forty percentage and all of those things, look at any other country whose GDP is one forty percentage and look at where his rating is. None of them are rated triple A. US is still triple A. उसके पास डॉलर है भाई. Is the reserve currency? The whole world runs on dollar. The other yeah, countries right. cannot. This is the problem. So this is the answer to your question. Governments which which whose lo- whose currency is not dollar, they don't have indefinite dollars with them. Mm-hmm. Right. That is the problem. <laughs> I think Sanup, thanks a lot for answering. and uh, aklesh ji and uh, rashid thanks for asking the question on the bond i think we require a separate session on the bond and so yes. i ask your time and uh, <laughs> your joint session and my team can prepare for it but i think this is one of this session is one of the best one where we could demystify the fact i would like to uh, end it because of the the uh, time constraint i want to recap the whole thing we talked about structure notes we talked about bond bonds are not a timely buy right now uh, we discuss inverse bonds we discuss structure notes how they work we told that how the risk can be diversified by investing the equal amount into the quality equity stocks and holding it for more than 3 to 4 years uh, the current scenario is very shaky where sanup has a very 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 well pointed out that things can go bad overnight the good thing with the quality stocks that they will come back in the bond please do not try to seek 7 8 9% bonds are a product which are of moderate risk go for a sub, uh, the uh, what do you call unsecured senior unsecured bond go for investment grade bond if you cannot read or write on a daily or read on a two, two hourly basis please look to invest in the bond fund and sanup will be available on i'm sure on the facebook or somewhere or linkedin i will give you the his link and if you're still interested in the bond i i hope he will be available to talk to you and you can always write to him thanks a lot and have a great uh, one you want to take one question uh, from you know about the uh, global income note investment you want to talk about that for global a minute income note 
so i well, I, i didn't understand the question actually priya um like it's from clifton so clifton if you can just elaborate on that because there are a lot of global income note uh, which one what we have to understand okay okay maybe i'll check with him later and we can take that separately there are a lot of his income note and high yield bond fund etc going on is very difficult to comment on one bus by the name and they're all sort of uh, things which uh, the brokers or the bankers are bringing it to you to give you some income and uh, it's very difficult to comment on it unless we know the detail so please uh, thanks a lot have a great day and see you next month with new topic and maybe new guest have a great day thank you bro thank, thank you thanks bro thank you thank you thank you bye thanks anup for answering <laughs> thank you thanks. no problem